Good morning, Grade Fours. My name is Rene Nell. I'm a teacher at Para North Primary and I teach Grade Four. Good morning, to understand the concept of fractions much easier, I took circles and I divided the circle into equal parts. Thirds, quarters, fifths, sixths, seventh and eighth. And then I showed the children that it's easier to take any whole and divide it into equal parts. Now from a whole we can make two halves. To make it a little bit more interesting, I added some dots to the circle. How many colored dots do you see? Four. So that they can see they can count also in, in thirds or six. How many in each part? Two. And then each part will then represent a number. What do we call one part? One part is called a third. For instance, in the thirds, we worked with five, and there were five dots in each third, which then re represents a third represents fives. So two thirds will then represent ten, and three thirds will represent fifteen. Two thirds of fifteen equals two. Ten. ten. Right. What part of the third is how many? A fifth. Now one part of a third is. Five. Okay. Altogether, we didn't then discovered that the, the fifteen makes one whole again. To make the children feel that they can do it on their own, to make their own pies, I took um, colour paper and I cut it into halves and thirds and quarters and fifths and sixths and sevenths and eighths. And then I handed a, a whole pile of circles to the children and they had to now start packing their own little pies, making sure that each little segment was exactly the same size. Take these parts and put them on the desk and then you can see that they are different sizes and then you put them in sizes together. So are they all equal parts? No, they're not equal parts. You haven't got to find the right friends. Try and find the right friends, come. These are, these are correct. That's correct and that's correct. <coughs> Not equal parts. Then they discovered that they can make their own little pie and count in the amounts that each pie represented, like a fifth. There were five parts. Count in threes. Three, six, nine, five, fourteen. Right. And um, after, tell us what is one fifth of fifth? Please. This is a very easy way to teach fractions because you start at the concrete. If we put these quarters together, try and make a hole here, bring yours as well, and we make one hole. And then you go to the abstract. Is that the same size? Yep. There we go. All right, just turn it around. Let us count them in threes. Children could see and feel and touch the fractions. Mm -hmm.